Today we're pond hopping and looking for some big bass using the six sets bass bait box. You guys a little glimpse what's in here real quick. Oh, stop, dude. Got him. That was a munch. Where are you going? Hey everybody, welcome back. So you guys know I love the fishing kits, the fishing bundles, stuff like that. And the reason for it is the value is usually greater than what you've spent, if that makes any sense. Actually, I think it's cost versus value is the better way to put it. And you've seen me do some with the Mr. Tackle Boxes, Rapala Bass Boom Box. At work the other day, we got a brand new one in from Six Cents. You guys, I think you guys know that I'm not that big of a fan of a lot of the six cents products i think i don't know I just, i've just never personally had really good luck on them every time i bought them uh you know i think sometimes i thought some of them i bought the hooks were too big for the lures or um the jig heads for the swim baits the hooks been out too easy just stuff like that regardless of that i decided why not buy one of their kits right here and see if the stuff in here is actually worth the money just to let you know, they they do have two different ones. They have one of a $65 value that is $49.99. And then they have one that is $99.99 that claims to have a value of $130. I don't know how true that is, but we're gonna find out. They also have different numbers on the box. I got box number four. So hopefully uh, they are different baits based upon numbers not like that bass boom box where what you got in the box is what you got in the box i mean you guys saw that video if you haven't seen that video go watch it after this one you'll see what i'm talking about we're going to go fishing with everything that's in here and hopefully get on some big fall bass let's see what's in here see what's to use and then let's go get rigged up all right so let's open this bad boy up and see what we got right here real quick I'll tell you one thing we don't have in here. We don't have a box inside of a box. So I want you guys to read this real quick. You see that right there? It says, we've simplified the process for you by selecting some of our most popular products, packaging them together and making them available at an exceptional value. The bait box features an assortment of soft plastics, terminal tackle, hard baits, and accessories carefully chosen for anglers for anglers in pursuit of top notch fishing gear that addresses every need let's see how true that actually is shall we hey i'll tell you what i can get a good look at a t-bone by sticking my head up a bull's ass but i'd rather take the butcher's word for it gotta have scissors because this tape is not wanting to come off that easy two hours later now let's take a look and see what's in here shall we all right just gonna you guys a little glimpse what's in here real quick sheesh so this box is supposed to have anywhere between eight to 12 different items in it all right now uh there are one two three four five six seven eight ten eleven twelve okay there's 12 items in here which is actually pretty cool they actually said like terminal tackle hard baits and accessories i can definitely say that stuff is in this box because i got congo cross which are soft plastic i've got 5.2 inch soft bait jerk bait which is their uh their jerk bait their you know their fluke type deal i got a six cent spinner bait i got a crush 100 vr xr or crush 100 xr i don't know how well <clears throat> i don't know how well this is going to work in some of the ponds we're going because there's a lot of grass but we'll see i got another munch 40 okay another crankbait uh, i got some gilt which i think is a drop shot lure but I don't have a spinner baiting, I don't have a spinning rod anymore because you guys saw what happened to that at the last video. Well, I will soon, but I don't have one right now. Um Ned rig, Ned heads again. Again, great for spinner bait, but I don't have one anymore. And so peg stoppers for the Texas rigs. 
some drop shot weights for the drop shot. Again, they literally did give me everything I needed in here to do a drop shot with because I also have their drop shot hooks. So literally everything I needed for, I, I can finally give them credit. Everything that I need for everything that they have in here, soft plastics wise, for the techniques is in here, except for, except for one thing. Um, I have two packs of, also two packs of three aught EWG and five aught worm hooks. So, oh, and the sticker. Gotta have the sticker. So, literally, I think the box is definitely worth it value wise. Not just because it's the lures, but it's the like, it's the bobber stoppers. It's the actual hooks, the actual weights I need in order to throw the drop shot. I think this is. I think this is actually pretty good. I think the spinner bait will, will get hit there right now. I think the jerk bait will definitely get hit. Um, and the Congo crawl. Um, you know, I think that will get hit. I just wish I had a Texas, I just wish I had some, uh, some bullet weights in here to put with that for a Texas rig. See, now here's the thing that's, that's, that's making me kind of curious though. If this is the $65 value box, What's in the, how much is in the 130? How much is in the other box? Cause this is a good, like all this right here is awesome for the amount of stuff I got in there. And this isn't even all of it. This isn't even all of it right here. But I think this is gonna be a good start to try to get on some fish today. Hopefully, maybe, I don't know. So let's get rigged up, tied up and head down to some water. All right, so let's start. And let's start with this spinner bait. So it's supposed to have a hand tied skirt, screw lock bait keeper, premium blades and swivels, tri the treated stainless wire for maximum flex and vibration. Ugh. Okay, I'm not a fan of this packaging. Yeah, not a fan of that packaging because it just leaves some more trash. All right, I mean, that looks pretty good though. It does have the screw lock in there. So I mean, I could put on that chat, that Congo crawl in here, but I'm not going to, because you know, you guys know me, I don't like throwing anything. Oh, well, I, I don't like throwing a trailer on spinner baits. I just feel like it leads to more short strikes than it does actual bites. So, all right. All right, spinner bait is tied on. Let's head down to here. See what we can get. Okay, I can barely feel the weight of that thing. So it says a quarter ounce, which is not that heavy, but. All right, I think we're about to go to a different pond and not, not try a different lure, but probably just go to a different pond. Cause I don't, know, I just don't think the bite is on right here, right now. Mainly cause I like fishing here, but there's not a lot of shade. There's not a lot of structure. There's, you know, it's a, the way this is set up is like a giant fish bowl. Or it's just like a giant bowl where it's shallow around the edges and then it gets deeper as it goes in. There's nothing that I can see and they'll be like, oh, they're gonna be there or I can fish it there or go there. No. Ooh, that didn't sound good. All right, 
maybe. I broke the bill, so I need to stop doing that. Okay. All right, pond three, and I went and tied back that spinner bait because I broke the uh, lip off of that crank. Now we got a lot of wind, so I know this audio is not going to be the greatest, so I apologize already. Got one. All right. First fish. And he's been, he's definitely been hooked before. Uh-uh. Yeah, he went, it went straight into where he's been hooked before. Like you can see that big right there. Yeah, he's been hooked before. But he's healthy. He's a little cold. A little half a pound or something. But it is a fish on the spinnerbait. Bye, guy. All right. First one on the spinnerbait. It's about dang time. Let's see if we can upgrade. Oh, that's a better one. And he's running to me. Oh, stop, 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 stop. No, 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 stop, dude. There he goes. All right. Well, it's fine. That's fine. He's on the ground. He caught. He counts. Pardon me, didn't want to really bend over. But he was bigger than the other one, so it is an upgrade. Two up here in the grass with it. I mean, they ain't big, but two of them came up in the grass following it. I'm gonna walk down here, cast it around in this area. And if I don't get hit, then I think we go into that crawl. Oh, there we go. I'm 
Oh, he's in that smack schmop. Come here, my dude. He's been caught before. That's healthy. That's a healthy fish right there. Third one on the spinnerbait. He's a he's a chunky guy. All right, so unfortunately, I am actually again going to have to toss him out, so he doesn't get it, so he can get, actually get out and start swimming outside of all this stuff. So, bye, guy. Because I didn't want him to get stuck in all this, but I needed to actually toss him. So, all right, stay with spinnerbait. Got another one. I think he's a bit bigger. Oh yeah, he's definitely bigger. Yeah, he's definitely bigger. Ah, chill, chill my freaking dude. Yeah, he's bigger. He's better. Whew. I'm not gonna say next cast because I did cast it out, but then the blade was messed up. But once I fixed it, smoked it. Absolutely smoked it. And that's again, I'd give it two and a half to three. I'd give it two and a half to three because it's, he a beefy boy right here. All right, so I'm gonna get a picture of this one real quick and then we're gonna let him go. So, the spinnerbait, man, I'm telling you, I wasn't sure if, any, I wasn't sure if everything was gonna catch stuff in there. The spinnerbait bite right now, dude, it is fire. All right, so I got the pictures now. So I'm not tossing this one. I'm gonna let him go and see if he can, if he can make himself out there, cause, all right, guy. Oh no. You did exactly what I was hoping you didn't do. Come on. All right, I'm gonna have to... No, I did not want to do that. You can't die. Come on, my dude. All right, come here. I am gonna have to toss you. I'm sorry for this, I am gonna have to... Now, I do wish that they had put some bullet weights in here, but they didn't. But luckily I had some in my truck. So I got some 3 16 ounce tungsten green Guggen green bullet weights. So we can throw a Texas rig with those crawls. Before I do that, here they are. We are going to put on our peg stopper. Get this Congo crawl. Okay. Got him. Second cast. Just gotta get him out of all this gunk right here. Pull you through, my guy. Sorry. All right, let's get this salad off of you. Stop. You got a, you got a nose piercing, that's for sure. Look how he ate it. That was a munch. I wasn't sure the first time, but the second time, dude, he's barely hooked. 
God. Another healthy one though. Nice and long and healthy. Another two beautiful fish. And I don't have to chunk you out that far. I'll just come down here now and let you go a little bit closer. So, all right. Ah, my teeth are sharp. All right, guy. Bye. Oh, where'd you go? You, you're supposed to go that way. There he goes. He is so turned over. He didn't know which way to go. Got him. It's another good one right here. It's much more energetic than the others. Stop it. You got a good nose piercing right there, my guy. Look right there. Right on the top of the snaz. Perfect. Perfect hook set. And I think this is the biggest one so far. I'm pretty sure it is. That's a three pounder, at least. Minimum three. I need to bring the scale. Lee, let's look at think how tail that look how thick that tail is right now. All right, this is like the second one on the crawl. Six fish all together. Man, they're just. You guys are so healthy. I really, I really do not want this water to die just because of fish like this. That's a good genes right here. I actually think he is the largest one I've had so far. Let him go because he feels like he's drying out a little bit. Oh, I need to let you go somewhere. Okay, hold on. Oh my guy, I gotta toss you out. I'm so sorry for this. Ooh, torpedo. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for another one. Um, all in all, really good. Really happy with those baits, with that purchase of the box. Got into some really good ones today, bank fishing. Now, granted, it did take me two days to do this. Actually, yeah, two days fishing and filming to, to get them, but you know what? that's fall fishing right now sometimes you're gonna get them sometimes you're just not but anyway great value in the box the um kind of want to go and i kind of want to do buy the other one now to see if uh to see what i what all i can get in it and to see what all i can get in it so if you would like to see that video uh let's say you get this video to 50 likes and i'll go buy that and we'll do a video using those lures in that box. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Uh, smash it, hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed it. Drop a comment down below. And as always, subscribe if you're brand new. Help your boy get to the 1,000 subscribers because I'm really close. I think I'm gonna like at 70 people. I need 70 people, 70, 70 people to hit that subscribe button. And then also turn that bell notification on so you'll get up so you'll get notified when i do upload more content and new content as well but as always i love each and every one of you thanks for watching and i'll see you back out on the water